welcome to InfoPlace Canada's YouTube channel. Florence Afan, Lead Consultant at InfoPlace Canada. I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. Today I'm going to be talking about changing your status from visitor to worker, student, or even permanent resident. Because a lot of people usually think that if I get a visiting visa and come to Canada, I'm not going home again. I'm going to stay here and switch and make Canada my home. Now we're going to talk about each of those types of statuses so that I can tell you what the differences are and what the challenges may be in switching that so then if you're one who is getting a visiting visa for that purpose you could actually think about it properly to ensure that it's something that is doable because a lot of people come here and become very very frustrated because of a lot of roadblocks and challenges that they face in switching statuses because it is not very easy the first thing i would say is if you look at yourself and you don't qualify for any of this other programs before you even come into Canada. Getting a visitor's visa to Canada will not change the requirement. It will not make you automatically qualify to become a student or make it easier for you to get a study permit. It would not make it easier for you to get a work permit or even permanent residence. So I'm going to start with study. So a visitor comes into Canada and wants to study, doesn't want to go back home anymore and decides that, you know what, I want to study in Canada. What are the things that they need to look out for? The first thing, of course, you have to get your admission process. You can process your admission right here in Canada. You have your document, you can get the admission. Fine, you could do that. After you get your admission, you're gonna to have to apply for a study permit. Now, this is something that you have to think about critically because when you were coming into Canada, you told the officers and in your application that you were coming to visit. You were just visiting probably two weeks, probably one month. And now you have decided that you don't want to go back and you want to change to student. What are the things to know? One, your visiting visa allows you into Canada for a maximum of six months. That is if the officer has not stated on your passport when you should leave. So there are certain people who come into Canada and sometimes the officers at the border would actually give you a date when you must leave Canada. So I've seen people who it's one month, two weeks, you have to leave and all of that. If that date is stamped on your passport, it means that you have to extend your visa before that date. If not, you will be out of status in Canada. That's the first thing. So do you have enough time then to start the process of getting admission and then your study permit. When you apply for your study permit, you would also have to convince the officer that you are a genuine student who is coming here for the purpose of study. Now, you will have to do a little bit more work than someone who is probably applying from outside of Canada. And I say a little bit more work because you had gotten a visiting visa to come here for the purpose of visit and now you're switching to study. So your application has to be airtight. It has to be very convincing to the officer that you are indeed a genuine student and that you're going to also go back home after your planned studies because one of the things they look at too is proof of ties what are your ties back home how can we know that you're going to go back home because a study permit is a temporary residence visa and does not allow you permanent stay in canada so time could potentially be a constraint in your ability to switch status but should you meet all the criteria should you complete a strong application and have enough time in your stay in Canada, you may be able to convert your stay from visiting to study. So you may be able to become a student and have study permits to study in Canada. But again, it's not easy and you have to look at the time that you have to be in Canada as a visitor. The last thing you want is to become out of status because that then causes its own problems as well. Same thing with working. Time is a constraint with all of this. The fact that you get a visiting visa does not make it easy for you to get a job in Canada. When you are applying for jobs, when it's time to start and all of that, you're going to need to prove that you have legal status to work in Canada. If you don't have legal status to work in Canada, it will still be very difficult 
for you to apply for work permit in Canada because the employers would first of all have to prove to the Canadian government that they did not find any Canadian or permanent residents to do the job before they offer it to you. At most times, once employers know that you don't have a work permit to work in Canada, that becomes a little bit scary and sometimes probably a no-go area for some employers because of the work that it takes for an employer to hire a foreigner to work in Canada. They actually have to prove to the Canadian government that there was no Canadian, no permanent residents to hire. And that is through a labor market impact assessment application which cost each employer for each person they're trying to hire a thousand dollars typically it's not an expense that most companies are willing to go through especially if they can find the skills and expertise that they're looking for in canada so in this time frame again you're looking for all of this waiting for lima which is a labor market impact assessment from the employer you might run into a situation where your visiting visa is out of status like it's expiring your status here is expiring as a visitor so you have to extend again even trying to extend that visa, you have to have a valid status for wanting to extend it to be able to extend it. If you don't, then you run into that challenge as well. Is it possible? There are few people who do it and get it, but I would like to really state that it's not easy. It's not easy to come here as a visitor and switch status. It's different if you already had a job lined up for you and then you're coming to finalize the steps of the job and things like that. But if you don't have anything, you're starting from scratch, the chances could be little to be able to convert your stay. I see a lot of immigrants who are in that boat and they're, you know, struggling daily trying to figure that out. And sometimes even when you get that, again, you still have to overcome come the hurdle of convincing the officer that you have enough ties in your home country and that you are really in Canada for the purpose of working and things like that at that point if you are applying for that work permit and then you would also have to explain to the officer as well why you came on visiting and you've ended up staying longer it becomes complicated it's very important to be careful when you're trying to explore that option and then the third one people think that they could do is permanent residence permanent residence is tough the requirements are all over the place there's a lot of hurdles that you have to cross to become a permanent resident i've had people call me and think oh if i just get a visa visa and come i can become permanent resident eventually and stuff and i'm like no 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 if you don't qualify for permanent residence on your own without being in canada then you're not going to qualify because you have a visiting visa a visiting visa does not make it easier for you to qualify for permanent residence while you're in the country, you might be able to be open to opportunities in terms of maybe finding a job that might end up getting you Canadian experience and all of that. But like we already talked about, it's difficult to get that job. So permanent residence has its own unique criteria. Even provincial programs, they have their criteria. Now you came into Canada on a two weeks visit. The officer has stamped your passport two weeks. And then now you're trying to become permanent residents, which is an application that takes up to a year to be here. And the documents that are typically required for that application, realistically, it's not easy. I wouldn't say it's almost impossible because there are people who have done successfully done that, who plan well and are able to do that. But it's not easy to convert your stay because of the length of time that permanent residence takes. It takes up to a year. So remember, you have maybe two weeks maybe maximum six months at a time to stay in Canada. So you have to be able to be continue extending your status to allow you to wait for your permanent residence to work out. Now it's different if your permanent residence application is already in process. You're just waiting for your passport request and all whatnot and things like that. Then you're probably closer to the end and then you're coming to visit Canada. I'm like, oh, maybe I just want to get my permanent residence status before I go back. Like there's sometimes people may do that. But this video is really just to tell you that the expectation that if I get a visiting visa and come to Canada, I will be able to become permanent residents is not a very easy task to place on yourself. You might get very stressed out. You might get very frustrated with the application process and things like that. So the best thing again is to ensure that you qualify from outside Canada, apply for your permanent residence from outside Canada. Then you don't have to leave here. Because remember, when you come as a visitor, you cannot work in Canada. So if you're extending your stay in Canada for a year, you have to think about how you're going to be supporting yourself for that whole one year. You have to think about how you'll be living. There's a lot of limitation on a visiting visa that doesn't just mean that you're relocated to live in Canada freely. And it's very important for people to know that because if you just come with the intent that visiting visa I've become Canadian, I am home and things like that. You might actually be putting yourself in a very tight corner and don't sell your things because you're coming to visit Canada. It's a temporary residence visa and you are required to return home 
after the designated time that you are coming to visit so make it easy for yourself and make it easy for you to get future visa approvals because if you come and you don't stick to why you came and the purpose why you came and you don't have a good reason for your extension this could potentially impact future visa applications as well i have seen this happen with clients who have come to me so it's very very important that when you're coming you stick to the reason why you came you stay for the period of time why you came and if you have to extend extend it for a good reason but to put the requirement that you're going to switch from statuses from being a visitor to a student to a worker or to pr you need to really assess for yourself if it is attainable or not based on your timelines based on the requirements and based on the things that you have i hope this video has cleared up a few things regarding your ability to switch statuses while you're in canada it's not impossible but while it's not impossible it is not easy at all have that at the back of your mind if this is something you're exploring you should know ahead of time what your options look like and what the things are that you need but most importantly remember a visiting visa is a temporary residence visa that requires you to leave Canada after your required visit in Canada. That's so important. Make sure that you don't overstay or run into any troubles with the law because it would make it a lot difficult for you to even be able to get more permanent statuses in Canada. That's about it for today. Take care and have a great week, day, evening ahead of you.